Hey there, Andrew here welcoming you to another episode of Research and Reviews. Today we're going to talk about the Sentinel software and how to update the firmware and the master database on the SDS100. So check it out. Finding the Sentinel software to download can be a little bit of a challenge because a quick look at the Uniden website will reveal absolutely nothing. The quickest and easiest way to find and download the Sentinel software is to go to info.uniden.com forward slash Uniden man for forward slash SDS 100 files. That will take you to where you can download the latest version for the BCDX36HP scanners, which also is the same version of Sentinel that works for the SDS 100 and 200. Click that link and then on the next page, select the latest version of Sentinel, which should be on the top of the page. After the zip file has downloaded, you can open it and install it the same as you would any other Windows application. Once installed, click on the icon to open the application. Next, attach your scanner to the computer. One side of the USB cable plugs into your computer. The other side plugs into the charge port of your scanner. On your scanner screen, you will see a prompt asking you to select a USB mode. Select mass storage by either pressing the key marked E or by depressing the rotating knob on the top of the scanner. In Sentinel, click the Update tab. Click Update Firmware and then click OK. Any firmware update will be pushed directly to your radio. If you already have the latest version of the firmware, a prompt will notify you to that effect. To update the master database, click the Update tab and then click Update Master Database. If you already have the current database, a prompt will tell you so. Otherwise, a new database will be downloaded into Sentinel. To update the database on the scanner, click the Scanner tab. Click Write to Scanner, click OK, and then click OK again. Before you remove the cable from the scanner, be sure to eject or unmount it. Click the Unmount icon and click Unmount SDS100 and you're done. You can now safely unplug the scanner. At this point, your radio will reboot and you will have the latest firmware and database installed. It's just that easy.